welcome back to another Menu Monday. So I left you off last Monday with all the breakfast make ahead freezer meals and I had this left over. What am I going to do with it? Well, I thought to myself and then it dawned on me, foil meals. So I got to researching and I found some to try. They were all good. Our favorite was the sausage. And I saw that on the cover of a book on, on Amazon called Foiled. So I downloaded the Kindle version and sure enough it was that recipe. And she has tons of other recipes in this book. So a lot of desserts too. And I thought how fun would it be if you like camping and even if you make a meal to go outside and throw your desserts in the fire and sit around the campfire. But anyway... I'm going to try some of those too. Today I have four for you and I will link the book on my website. The blog post will be uh, Menu Monday, April 26th, 21. And I'll do the Kindle and the paperback version. I know some people prefer to have a paperback uh, cookbook. So without further ado, let me show you the four that I made. The first foil packet I did was steak and potatoes and I peeled the sweet potatoes first and then you cut them into half inch thick slices and then you quarter those slices. And it did say uh, in the notes to make sure you get these sizes accurate for the potatoes and the beef otherwise you'll either have tough beef or uh, soggy potatoes or something like that so I was very careful to make sure I got everything cut accordingly. Now we're going to melt four teaspoons of butter. I got some Kerrygold for this and it did taste really good. I think if I was to do this again, which I probably will, especially I'd like to try on a campfire, is to make some garlic butter ahead of time and put it on the steak and potatoes after they cook. I thought about that when I was eating it, but I thought that that would be good. But this was a good dinner. We enjoyed it. So now I'm tossing the um, potatoes in the melted butter and then I'm going to sprinkle it with seasoned salt. I used um, nature's seasoning, but you can use whatever seasoning salt you like. Now we're going to get the potatoes into the foil packets. And the directions on this one is to make sure you have two layers of foil and so there's each one here has two layers and I was trying to use up all the foil packets or sheets that I had from the breakfasts last Monday so this is a great option if you two went out and bought a bunch of these uh, just wanted to get them used up now it's said to use 20 sprigs of thyme that I think was five Per packet yeah five per packet but I'm not a big fan of time so I just put two sometimes three depending on the size of this brick now for the steak it said to cut those two inches by two inches in other words two inch square Big Daddy said to me don't you know that you're from your tip of your finger to the first knuckle is one inch on everybody I said, seriously I never knew that wealth of information Anyway, once I got the first one cut, it was just basically making them into squares.
it says to toss this with garlic salts. I ended up getting some um, seasoned meat tenderizer too. I thought that would help the steaks. And it did. They were certainly tender. Alright, and then you just divide the meat into the four packs. Some had two, some had three. It was just Big Daddy and I, so if we wanted to eat two packs, we could. Um, we ended up having one pack each and then having the other pack for lunch the next day. All right, and then fold the packets per directions. And again, they'll be on the website, rvlifeintheusa.com with the ingredients. Now there's grilling instructions that will be there or oven instructions. I was using the Emeril Lagasse oven. It said 400 and I checked 15 minutes and they were cooked at 155 so between medium well and well done. So that worked for us. If you like a rarer uh, steak then you want to check it sooner. And it may take longer on an outdoor grill. I'm not sure because I didn't do that. But the directions are there for that. I hope you try it. Alright, so for our barbecue chicken, we're going to lay out our foil packets. These aren't doubled. Always shiny side up. I forgot that when I first started. And then the next thing we're going to do is get our chicken breasts on there. Now I use two large chicken breasts and I cut them in half to give me four. And then we're going to put on the vegetables and that is uh, green peppers and red onion. Now to cover the chicken with barbecue sauce. Sprinkle the vegetables with some olive oil, salt and pepper. We're going to wrap the packets and then these go in a 400 degree oven for 25 minutes. For the Emeril Lagasse, I checked them at 20 and they were done. So just check yours, make sure they're at temperature 165 degrees for the chicken. came out very tasty. I just put a little more barbecue sauce on it and we were done. I did have rice with ours too, which is optional, but I hope you give it a try. They were very good. Okay, 
Alright, so for Italian sausage, the first thing we're going to do is wash and dice our potatoes into bite-sized chunks. Just drying them off. And you're going to do your four packets of foils. We're going to lay out four rectangles. Now we're supposed to spray these with um, cooking spray, but I neglected to do that, so you'll see me come back and do it after I get the potatoes on there. And you just divide your potatoes, your green beans, and your sausage into fours. Okay, I've washed the green beans, now I'm just cutting off the ends. Now sprinkle these on top of the potatoes and next will be our sausage. The recipe called for four sausages. Of course the pack comes with five. You can either do a fifth packet if you want and just add a little more potatoes and green beans and spread them out. But what I did is just um, save the other sausage and some potatoes and I have extra green beans in the fridge and I was just going to do that for lunch today. So whichever way you want to do it. We're going to drizzle with some olive oil and the recipe called for salt and pepper. I did one of the Weber seasonings or Blackstone, I can't, one or the other, um, and then some seasoning salt, and that was very good. But you can use your choice of seasonings. And then you're just going to wrap these up into packets. If you're putting it on outdoor cooking, it's 30 minutes, making sure you turn it a few times. At home, a 415 degree oven for 30 minutes. Uh, the Emiro Lagasse oven was 400 degrees and it took 25 minutes. Just put them on a baking sheet if you're doing them in the oven, and there you go. Just throw away the foil, and dishes are done. There's the finished plate. I have to say, this one was really, really good. Big Daddy and I both enjoyed it, and we both had two packets for dinner. Here are your ingredients. I hope you try it. Alright, so for our hobo dinner, the first thing I did was cut up all the vegetables. So we have carrots, potatoes, and onion. And then you just put it all in one bowl.
right, so you mix to combine everything together, and then you're going to put that um, on the foil that's been sprayed with nonstick spray. So I'm just getting out my foil packets here. And I have to say, you know, I was trying to use up these foil packets from last week, and after I did this dinner, I had one sheet left. So if you guys want to get to use up your four packets, if you bought some, this week will do it. Now it was hard, it said just to separate it all, but I had more than I could use here. So I ended up sort of picking through the foods to make sure everything had a little bit of potatoes, a little bit of carrots, a little bit of onions. And then with the rest of the vegetables, I ended up frying them in a pan and I um, put them in the freezer for another meal. Now I'm going to mix the hamburger with the uh, onion soup mix and make four patties which we're going to place on top, one on each foil pack. After I've made mine into a circle, I always uh, push down with my thumbs in the middle. It's a Rachel Ray thing. She says it helps the hamburger cook evenly so that they don't puff up in the middle. And it worked out really well for this because the next step is to put two tablespoons of cream of mushroom soup on top of each hamburger and it went right into my little divot. So that worked out very well. And that's your packet all done. So you just wrap that up. And then these are cooked, if you want to, in the oven, 375 for 35 to 45 minutes, or until your carrots and potatoes are tender. Now, I did these in the e Merrill, and I did the same temperature, 375, but I did 35 minutes. And I said at the end of this video, which I'd already um, done my closing, that our favorite was the sausage. But this was definitely a very close second, possibly just even to the sausage. Tastes delicious. That mushroom soup mix makes a lovely gravy. So I definitely suggest trying this one too. Here are your ingredients. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed these uh foil meals today. If you've made it to the end of the video, please leave me a knife and fork emoji so that I know you did. And for anybody that's new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here. We do all sorts of cooking on Mondays and then on Thursdays I do an alternate video. My husband and I live in the RV full time and we travel job to job. We never know where we're going next, but that's the fun of it. I thank everybody for being here today, and I'll see you next Monday for another Menu Monday. Love y'all. Bye-bye.